Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Aldo and today I am going to show you how to make swimsuits without using any sewing patterns. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have here is drafting the pattern. Basically, I'm just tracing a tank top that fits me really well or my children really well and I'm just going to cut out the pieces and I made sure that I gave it enough seam allowances so I gave it about one half inch seam allowance on all four sides and this is going to be cut on fold. So the fabric I'm using is specifically for swimwear so make sure that you do the same because this type of fabric is thick and it's also going to stretch just like any swimsuits or bathing suits. For the bottoms, I'm going to be doing the same. I'm tracing a pair of shorts that is quite fitted and I'm going to give it a seam allowance about one half inch as well. So I will need two pieces for the front and I'm going to be doing the same for the back pieces. You will notice the crotch area on the back piece is slightly longer than the front. And then I'll go ahead and trace out the skirt. This is going to be a half circle skirt. So I first divide the waistline by 3.14 and the number is going to be the waistline. And then I just use how much fabric I could use for this because I actually don't have enough. So I ended up doing 11 inches length for the skirt and I'm just going to add ruffles on the bottom. I'm sorry, it's actually 13 inches. I was just looking at the frame right now. So now I'm going to cut out the skirt piece and we are going to have one panel only. Now I just measured the shorts that's going to go inside the skirt and it's a tad longer. So my plan is to add ruffles on the hem of the skirt. This bathing suit is going to be one piece, but there are so many components to this. So we will have a skirt and then the short that goes inside the skirt and then the bodice pieces. And I'm also going to use this elastic and this swimmer is going to be fully lined. So everything I cut for the swim fabric is going to be the same for the lining so here i'm just speeding it up but it's pretty much repeating the same process that i did earlier except for the skirt we don't need to line that Just to save time, I already cut out the pieces for the two-piece set for my youngest daughter. I pretty much used the same pattern pieces that I use because they are kind of the same size. I'm going to put the shorts together first so I match the right sides of the fabrics. I match the right sides of the fabrics and I'm going to stitch along the side seam and it is terrible I'm so sorry because the pieces doesn't line up that's okay because this fabric is stretchy and we can always trim off the excess fabric later on so I'm just going to use my serger for this and now I am going to match the right sides of the fabric be sure that the front shorts and the back shorts are matching stitch along the crotch seam right here and I will do the same thing for the lining obviously now it's looking like a pair of shorts it's time to sew the inseam and repeat the same for the lining now it should look like this I am going to place the lining inside the short wrong sides of the fabrics are matching and then I'm going to zigzag stitch it along the waistline. So this was actually my first time to work on the swimsuit. So I was kind of figuring out the process. I'll go ahead and search the side seam of the skirt. And then I am going to create some ruffles i pretty much use the leftover fabrics that i can get and then sew them into a long strip of fabric and then i'm going to gather it to fit the circumference of the hemline and i'm going to stitch 
along the edge and it should look like this and you don't have to hem it because this fabric doesn't fray but I decided to hem it anyway now it's time to attach the short in the skirt so I'm going to place it inside be sure to quarter the waistline so it's so much easier to match up This point you can actually insert in the bodice as well but this was my first time to work on a swimsuit so I was kind of trying to figure out the process but hindsight it's actually easier if I added the bodice already before I stitch along the waistline. This is the two-piece set that I'm working on. This is the skirt bottom. So the difference is I added waistband to this. So the waistband is slightly shorter than the actual waist of the skirt. And I'm just going to stitch it along the edge and it should look like this. The short is a little longer than the skirt. I can trim it but when my daughter tried it on, she actually liked the look of it. So I'm okay with that. Now it's time to work on the bodice so this is going to have lining and cups for modesty reason obviously so if you don't want to you can skip this part so basically I am just sewing the cups on the lining the white lining was actually for the blue swimsuit so if I could redo this again I will use the skin tone lining so now it should look like this here i am trimming down the back neck i wanted to make sure that my daughter can easily get in and out of the swimsuit because this is literally how is she going to put the skirt on is through the neck hole so i just want it to be a little bigger it's time to attach the neckline to the bodice i'm just sewing it on the side seam and shoulders and i will do the same for the back piece so this is going to be fully lined the reason why i decided to do that is because it is a lighter fabric and i just want to make sure that my daughter is going to be covered modestly so the other swimsuit i decided to just line the half of the bodice and just on the front i did a zigzag stitch first that's also going to stay stitched the fabric so it doesn't stretch out too much or lose its shape so the tricky bit is zigzag stitching the arm side. Now I'm just going to sew the shoulders and the side seams. No, I'm not texting while sewing. This is for my TikTok. So if you haven't followed me there, if you have a TikTok account, just same handle, so Aldo DIY. Here I am zigzag stitching <laughs> the elastic on the neckline just because I want the neckline to hold its shape. So the el clear elastic is about an inch shorter than the neckline. For that, I am going to fold it in and do another zigzag stitch to hide the raw edge. I am finally using a decorative stretch stitch. When you stitch the clear elastic, be sure to evenly distribute the elastic. I actually didn't do a good job because this is my first time using it. But you can use a regular elastic for this. That's not a problem. I repeated the same for the other tank top and it looks like this so this one is finished already now let's attach the bodice to the skirt for reference I actually mark the front of the swimsuit so I can easily match it to the front of the bodice 
so right sides of the fabrics are facing and then stitch along the waistline so this is when I said earlier you can actually attach the bodice before you even connect the lining skirt and shorts just because it made the seam a little thicker and it shows in the finished product Although it made the sewing really easy, the seam is just a little thick than I would like it. And this is what it should look like. I absolutely love it. Now I want one for myself. Using some leftover fabrics, I created this little strip of fabric that I can tie on the shoulders to add details to the swimsuit. Just made it extra special and cute. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this tutorial.